Okay, Hades Omega here. I'm adding on to my uh, post uh, Hades Omega ta adventure uh, vlog here. Um, so I just wanted to go over the map and the route, how, um, what kind of riding I accomplished, like how many states I crossed, how far across I got uh, across the hunter country. Um, so those of you who don't know, I rode uh, 10,087 miles. So, so this is all all these dots are 10,087 miles. I rode across the country once and then twice to get back home. So I started here in my home in uh, San Jose, California. And looks like I think, oh no, the farthest. I thought I, the farthest I would get is Pensacola, but actually I got into like North Carolina quite a bit. Um, so, so if you guys are wondering what, um, what is it, what, uh, what I was using to make these tracks is this device here. Sorry, it's kind of dark. This is a this is a Delorme InReach. There you go. Um, this is my satellite tracking device, and pretty much I left this on 24/7, pretty much. And it, it's just uh, what it does is every 10 minutes it drops a little cookie, and um, yeah, every 10 minutes it drops a little cookie, and then, and then it just makes these tracks. So, so there you go. Uh, so anyway. I started here in California, and this is where I forgot to turn it on or something. Actually, I didn't turn it on close to home also. Um, and so I've just been dropping cookies. So I crossed over here through uh, the mountains and stuff, and then I tried to go up Sherman Pass over here, but I I could not, so I went, went, I went down to uh, kind of where Jawbone Canyon is, and went through uh, Death Valley, and to Nevada. Uh, Nevada, I stopped by a buddy's house in, uh, near Vegas, and then uh, we headed to, uh, I did Valley of Fire and Red Rock Canyon. Yeah. And then uh, I crossed into, uh, crossed into Arizona briefly, and then back, and then into Utah briefly, and then back into Arizona again. Um, and Zion is around here. I kind of wanted to go to Zion, but I just I didn't have time. It would have been more, more riding. And then uh, I did this is all the Grand Canyon stuff here. Uh, this is when I went to Tuweep or uh, Grand Canyon Parashant, the the North Rim. And then uh, and then this is North Rim right here. And then I went down, uh, I, I stayed around Lake Powell somewhere here to look at the Horseshoe Bend. Uh, um, and then I went down into the South Rim and, and then I headed south to Tucson. Uh, right, Tucson here. Yeah. And, then, uh, and then from there I headed to El Paso and then I took like uh, pretty much the 10 I think it was. And all the way to Pensacola. Um, so on the way, I passed through San Antonio, um, Houston, and then I passed through into Louisiana. Um, I didn't go go through New Orleans. I kind of like I went north of it. And then this is uh, I think this is Mississippi, and this is. Uh, and then I cross into Pensacola, Florida. And this is when it started raining and everything. Like around here it started raining. So I just like whatever, you know. I'm just kind of riding. Um, and that's where I had that low side. Um, and, then, uh, and then I went up into Alabama. And I stopped in like Tuskegee somewhere around here. And then, uh, then headed into Georgia. And Atlanta, that's where uh, I got my bike service at MSP Cycles. And then I headed north into North Carolina and did the Dragon and all that. And, and then, um, oh, North, North Carolina was awesome, dude. It's, I, it's like rider country out there, I'm telling you. If you've, you ride a motorcycle and you want to um, visit a, uh, you know, very rider, you know, lots of riding stuff, Rider, rider land. <laughs> Go to North Carolina. It's it is awesome there, um, except for the bugs. Yeah, there's a lot of bugs on the East Coast. I tell you that. That's why. 
They have so much water there, because let's look at all this green stuff. Uh, anyway, so uh, we... And then we started a tat. Um, I started the tat starts in Andrews, North Carolina. I think somewhere around here. And then it crosses into Tennessee, and then it crossed down into Alabama. No, Georgia. You're in Georgia for a while, and then... And then, uh, and then you go back into Tennessee, and then you actually go into Alabama. You go into Alabama for a very short time to do some twisters, is what the <laughs> what the what the track said, uh, not, not what the what the roll chart said. And uh, yeah, that's uh, uh, twisters was a very um, crazy uh, up and down hairpin stuff. Uh, and then, uh, and then, and then we did uh, Mississippi. This is all Mississippi right here. Uh, well, it's kind of—it's a lot shorter than than the um, Tennessee section. Uh, and then, then, and this is a uh, Mississippi, Arkansas. This is Arkansas right here. I met Ben somewhere around here. And we rode together through Arkansas for a little while. Uh, was it in Mississippi? No, I met him in Arkansas, I think. No, 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 no. Yeah, I met him like late into Mississippi, I remember. Uh, and then I didn't really meet anybody else on the tat. It's slow year for a tat or something. Or just, you know, bad timing. Um, or that I'm just super fast. Nobody can catch me. I don't know. One of those. Um, Arkansas. And then Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Oklahoma is like one of the longest sections, so as you can see, it goes from here, it kind of touches into Kansas a little bit, keeps on going, 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 and then and then you go into New Mexico for about 75-ish miles right here. And then I head into uh, Colorado here, and then we did the Colorado Tat, and then um, it's pretty... it's pretty easy riding until you get to see where all this green stuff here. Um, this is, um, the Rocky Mountains. Those, that section is no joke, man. Um, if you like to do, like, steep climbs and go over rocks and stuff, uh, that's your game right there. Um, this is the hardest section of the tat for me, um, I think. Because you're going up these passes and they're rocky and they're steep, so. Um, that... That this section in Colorado, you want to have a light bike. You want to have as light a bike as possible. Um, the DR was all right. It was okay. Um, it was yeah. I, the DR did great. Did great on that stuff. Um, but I could see like those of you that have adventure bikes, uh, you want to be careful around here, man, because it is nuts. Um, you better be, you better be an accomplished uh, downhill and uphill and rocky climber um, type rider on your ADV bike, because uh, it's tough. Um, good thing is there's probably a lot of 4x4 guys to help you pick up your bike, maybe. Because <laughs> there's tons of 4x4s out there. Uh, I also want to mention uh, I split up from Ben around here. And uh, I I went to Pikes Peak. That's where Pikes Peak is. Um, Colorado Springs. Around Colorado Springs. And uh, I thought it was totally worth it. Um, if you've never ridden up Pikes Peak, you, you got it. Um, it's literally the highest elevation I have ever ridden up on. I had, I got, as soon as I got off the bike, I got altitude sickness. I don't know what it is. I was fine riding up, up until I got off the bike. And I'm like, ooh, I feel dizzy, you know? So, uh, yeah, that was an interesting experience. I've ridden all the way up to 10,000, 11,000 feet, and psh, no problem, you know? It's just a little short breath, man. But I, I literally, I felt dizzy when I got off the bike. That is how, uh, how high it is. And there is ice on top all the time. Uh, um, up this section here is all like high elevation. Uh, um, Colorado was the highest elevation, up to like 10,000. There was some pretty high sections, like in the Mountie LaSalle Forest. You'll 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 dip into 9,000, 10,000 feet, but the the Rockies were the highest on the tat, um, at least for what I rode on the tat. And then. Um, and then I uh, I rode from uh, yeah I rode Utah um, Utah is mostly 4,000 5,000 foot elevation it's 
believe it or not, you know, it, that sounds like it's pretty high, but the DR ran pretty good at that that um, altitude. Um, 5,000 is about the limit of its performance. Uh, yeah, so this is Utah. Uh, yeah, I have to say Utah. Utah and Colorado were my favorite because Colorado was the most, the hardest, most technical sections uh, because of the Rocky Mountains, and Utah had, like, you know, a lot of desert, beautiful desert running. Oops. Sorry, my... So, oh yeah, and then there's the Great Salt Lake here. Um, that was a lot of fun. Um, so when you get to about this section here, it's just all straight dirt roads, like desert roads for miles and miles. Like literally the roll chart would say like 20 miles, 30 miles, 50 miles. I'm like, holy moly, this is a lot. Uh, it's a just dirt highway out there, man. Just dirt highway. You're just out in desert riding, and um, like some of it touches into Nevada, like twice, like right here and then right here. Uh, so you do get to ride in Nevada for a little bit. Um, the Nevada riding was kind of interesting. It was kind of like a just just this overgrown um, dirt trails, you know, in the desert, and you can just go around roads and stuff. It was pretty cool. Uh, and then like, yeah, and then the next treat here was Bonneville Salt Flats. So, uh, so honestly, it had totally slipped my mind. I, I, so I, didn't, I didn't know that, you know, near uh, the Great Salt Lake is the Bonneville Salt Flats. I mean, it's part of the Great Salt Lake. Um, so, and it, it does, the lake doesn't look like that. It does, it's not, it's not watery. It's, it literally looks like fucking salt the whole time. Like, there is some water out there, but, yeah, um. Yeah, so that's where I got to ride at Bonneville Salt Flats. Totally worth it to get my bike all salty. <laughs> I made sure and cleaned it really well. Actually, the bike didn't really rust with all the salt on there. That was kind of weird. Uh, it's not like, I guess it's not like ocean salt. It's different. Um, but yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. And then, uh, and then we headed north into Idaho here. This is Idaho, and then this is uh, Oregon here. And then that's where I broke off from the tat last. Uh, it's, just, it's taking way too long it's time to go home so so once I got to the Idaho border it was time to turn around I turned around hit the and then I just hit the interstate on the way back and I I, I made it all the way to Elko there's a little there's a town called Elko here somewhere and then I spent the night in the hotel there it was pretty cheap too um, it's not bad um, the room was a little small but the accommodations were nice and the town was nice. They had like casinos and stuff. Uh, but I was so tired, I just got some Domino's pizza, you know, and that was it. You know, and then uh, and then the next day, I just iron butted it home. Like, boom! I rode 600 miles that day. More than 600 miles, I rode home. Uh, I rode through Lake Tahoe uh, to Reno, and then Lake Tahoe, and then uh, I took I took Carson Pass back. And then some twisty roads, and then and then I I spit me out in like Stockton here somewhere, and then I just rode home from there. Uh, it's pretty simple from there. So there you go. Um, so uh, you guys want to know how many uh, how many state crossings Hades Omega did? Um, let's count them. Uh, so I crossed through uh, into Nevada. That's one, and then Arizona two, and then Utah three, and then back into Arizona four. And then back in, and then into uh, New Mexico, five, and then Texas, that's six, and then Louisiana, seven, and then uh, so it's Mississippi, Mississippi, eight, Alabama, nine, Florida, ten, Alabama again, eleven. Um, let's see, uh, twelve is Georgia. And then 13 is North Carolina, and 14 is back in the Georgia, and then 15 uh, is uh, back in the, to North Carolina. No, no, no. This is Tennessee now. Yeah, that's Tennessee. And then, and then, oh, what is this? Georgia again? Yeah, yeah. No, we were in Georgia for a little while. Was it 17? We were at 17. Something. We're around that. 17, 18 into Arkansas. 19 into Oklahoma, um, 20 into Kansas. We were in Kansas for a little while. And then 21 back into Oklahoma. And then New Mexico, 22. 
uh, Colorado 23 uh, Utah 24 um, Nevada 25 uh, and then 25 26 I think we back went back into Nevada and then back into Utah 27 uh, this is a lot man it's a lot um, and and then and then go home go home Nevada 28 and then California 29 so there you go I need to make it did 29 I may have done more 29 or like 30 ish uh, state crossings that's how many I did I did more than half the states so um, and some of the states are like more you know it's I touched it and I left touched it and I left so some of them were like kind of touch and go type things but uh there you go I hope you've enjoyed uh, Hades Omega's uh, map uh, Hades Omega tat adventure map vlog um, I will add this to my uh, post Hades Omega tat vlog uh, series uh, before I actually make the you know the stuff um, and like I said, I used this this device, the InReach, to get these tracks, uh, and it worked like a charm. And I had I had to remind myself to uh, unsubscribe this because <laughs> I wanted to pay another month. Uh, I wound up actually I, I rode for 40 days. I went over a month on this, so I had to I had to pay for two months subscription on this. So <laughs> so it's still active right now. I have to remember to turn it off though. Um, yeah. So uh, so like uh, what. So look at the mouse pointer here. So uh, what I have, I want to finish a tat in the future. So what's left is uh, Idaho here and Oregon right here. Um, and what I was thinking of is going down back to Vegas, around Vegas, because this is where the BDR starts. There's a new, there's a new Nevada BDR that came out like last year or something, and they have like there's a track that takes you from the South Nevada to North Nevada into um into idaho almost yeah so it's just, yeah because I, so I figured like hey well if you're ever going to go back to idaho well you're going to have to you're going to have to cross nevada so i was like well why don't we just do the nevada bdr and then link it to the idaho um tat and then do the oregon tat so i'm kind of worried about the oregon tat people are saying like the the tracks and the roll chart are all fucked up because the the forest is like they cut different um roads in the forest so um I'm gonna have to read up on that. Um, I'll have to see if there's like alternate routes and stuff. I have to get maps and stuff for that. So, so yeah, um, there's a lot of forest in Oregon. Um, if you don't know, like half of Oregon is kind of like the desert, and then the other half is like kind of is all foresty. So, the the Oregon that everybody thinks you know is up here. You know, this is all this green stuff, but uh, in reality, half of Oregon is desert. So, uh, Idaho, I'm not sure. Um, should be good riding. Uh, just looked like farmland the last time I saw it. <laughs> That's the last I saw of the tat. It was less farmland. All right, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, that is my uh, 2017 tat adventure. Um, I hope to finish it someday. Uh, maybe this year. Maybe next year. I don't know. I don't got any more money, so uh, <laughs> we're gonna have to raise some funds. So. So I I mean I hope you guys are watching my videos and you know I, I know I put ads on them but but when are you guys watch my videos like that it it helps me it helps fund my trips so so thank you guys here's the make out